For Dequervain tenosynovitis, how do you diagnose it? Well, you do the Finkelstein test, which is where you make the patient have a fist while, you hold, while they hold their thumb and then abduct their wrist. And if they have pain in the abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis, you know it's a positive Finkelstein test. And you'll often see this actually in overuse injuries for new mothers that are holding a baby. And the treatment is gonna be the usual where you do conservative therapy, rice therapy, NSAIDs, and splinting. And if refractory, you can do surgical, de surgical decompression of the first dorsal compartment. But that's almost never gonna be the answer on your boards. They almost always are looking for rice therapy, the rest ice compression and elevation. Your differential here, don't forget about carpo metacarpal grind test. If that's positive, where you grab the thumb and you rotate while applying an axial force, then you know that it's a positive carpo metacarpal grind test. And if there's grinding and crepitus, this is not gonna be associated with your dequervain tenosynovitis. All right, that's something that is going to be associated with osteoarthritis.